We're solving problems. Get the picture. That's right, my friends. Today, we're going to review what I believe to be the most useful problem-solving strategy of them all. And that is the draw a picture problem solving strategy. And in this strategy, we make a pictorial representation, a picture, of what our problem is telling us. And then we use that picture to solve the problem. Here, let's take a look at an example. All right, so let's take a look at this little example we have here. The problem says there were two fish swimming together. One more fish came to play. How many are all together? So it says two fish. So I'm going to get two fish. One, two. Two fish were swimming together. One more came to play. How many are all together? One fish. Two fish were swimming, one more fish came. How many are all together? We count. One, two, three. Two plus one equals three. Three fish all together. Let's look at another example. In this problem, we see that four bees were flying around the flower. Three more bees joined them. How many bees were there now? Okay, so we started with four bees around the flower. So let's get four bees around the flower. One, two, three, four bees around the flower. Three more bees joined them. How many were all together? Okay, so let's draw those three bees. One, Two, three. Four bees were around the flower. Three bees came to join them. How many bees are all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bees all together. We use the picture of the bees to see how many bees are all together, and we solve the problem that way. And the math sentence would be 4 plus 3 equals 7. I know, I know, I know. I'm the wisest. Is this math class? Is this art class? I don't get it. And you got a point. Art is art and math is math. So we're going to use a handy dandy shortcut to this strategy to make our problem solving more efficient or quicker. We're going to use dots instead of pictures and the dots will be used to represent anything. So if it's cookies, we're going to use dots. If it's mailboxes, we're going to use dots. If it's people, we're going to use dots. If it's pets, we're going to use dots. Whatever it is, we're going to use dots. Hey, let's use the draw a picture strategy, but instead of pictures, we're going to use dots instead. All right, so let's quickly look at those same two problems using our shortcut. Now we don't have to be artists in math class. We're simply going to put a dot to represent all objects in our math stories. So the story said there were two fish swimming together. One more fish came to play. How many are there all together? So let's see. Instead of fish, I'm going to use a dot. So there's one dot, two dots. So there were two dots excuse me, two fish swimming all together, and one more came. How many are all together? So now we're not going to count fish, we're going to count dots, and we're going to get the same answer. One, two, three. Three fish all together. Okay, let's look at the B problem. Same way. We're not going to draw Bs, we're just going to use dots. It said four bees were flying around the flower. Three more bees joined them. How many bees were there now? So we had four bees that started out. One, 
two, three, four bees flying around the flower, and then three bees join them. One, two, three more bees join them. How many bees are there now? So we're going to count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bees all together. So there you go. Got a problem? Draw a picture. Can't hurt? Maybe. It'll help solve the problem. And as always, my friends, I shall see you next time.